Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com and I thought I would share a few of the sights and scenes of Greenfield Valley Heritage Park with you. As you can see it's the site of a few old mills and so as such you've got all of the ruins of the old mill houses and all this incredible very old waterwork system to obviously give them some power and it's just incredible to see well just the sheer scale of what these places were like and this is just over the border in Wales, not too far from where I am on board good old Tilly at the minute. And it's just fascinating to see the incredible amount of work that went into these places and just setting them up before they were actually operational mills and proper working buildings. Just seeing the general setup, I mean, the things they had to create with no computers and no modern machinery is just absolutely outstanding I and mean, you can see the size of some of these things and um, particularly these uh, cogs you're about to see in a second. Uh, yeah I just thought I would share a few of the sites here because it's just fascinating to me at least to see what was going on in the old days <laughs> and we'll see in a second the uh, ruins of Basingwick Abbey as well which once again that's fascinating to see but in just a few seconds we're about to see the sort of things that would have been driving these, which is some very, very large, <laughs> I don't know, cogs, sprockets, whatever the technical term is. And I suppose it's like I've just mentioned, I mean, the sheer size and scale of these things. And to think that these all had to be carted around by horses, had to be made by hand. And uh, like you say, what can you say to something like that? The sheer size of that as a working piece of machinery and you consider what the modern equivalent machine would be the absolute fraction of the size weight and far easier to have produced by machine and computer and just looking back there I think that's an absolutely fantastic shot so moving on to Basingwick this is an abbey that was founded in I think way back in the 1100s if my memory serves and I suppose once again I I've always been into my history and looking at stuff like this and to think this has been around for so long and well, you just can't imagine people would struggle to build buildings that would have looked this magnificent and amazing as it did in its heyday uh, in modern times and certainly they would struggle to build things that would last as long as this that well you're getting on for a thousand years I suppose and yeah, I just thought I'd share a few of the sights and scenes. Um, I visited well out of the uh, tourist season, so none of the uh, museum or attraction elements were open. But just to go and have a look around, and there's more that we walked around up the other side. It's just absolutely fantastic. Hope you've enjoyed that quick look around. Check out my other videos for a load more random bits and pieces. Life on an Arrowboat, all sorts. Until the next time, thank you for watching and farewell.